<laughs> I'm joking. 97. <laughs> 97% Y'all, is a joke. You're this is not. This is not. This is not. Ugly. I'm, I'm talking about women ugly. I'm talking about niggas. <laughs> niggas is ugly. Girls. I mean, niggas more ugly. Don't blame me. <laughs> niggas is ugly. But. All right. <sighs> New York is ghetto. You can't say America. New York is ghetto. New York is ghetto. So we have a mayor. Who's not like a mayor, but he is a mayor because he is the mayor. I don't know who elected. I didn't vote that year. So he is a stand-in. Eric oh, Adams a... is being indicted mm. by the federal government for taking illegal funds Correct. from Turkey. Yep. Um to to fund for his, his campaign. For his campaign, yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, I think he was trying to either recycle the money or match the money with like public donation public funds. That's mm-hmm. how he's trying to keep mm-hmm. it. Clean. Clean it. And his boys is with him. Because the um the police commissioner or whatever stepped down. Stepped down. The, yeah. The, the 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 school the head of school stepped down. Mm-hmm. Um I think the lunch lady stepped down. Like it, it got nasty. They searched Granted the public get it is trying to like re rebrand themselves, but we can save that for another day. We gotta I think he did that shit. I ain't gonna front. I think he did that shit. I ain't even gonna I ain't gonna front. I think he did that and shit. Did. Eric Adams, I got no faith in you. Nothing. My only thing? Nothing. Don't make it a black thing. It's not. This is not a black people thing. Nope. This is a Eric Eric Adams is blackface without being racist. Let mm, me explain. Mm-hmm. Eric Adams was put in position after Chromo because Chromo was showing to help black people in New York. Very Chromo much so. was showing that sign. So they wanted Chromo out there. They found the SA, a couple of SA charges against him because he was like inappropriate hitting them girls. Because I didn't know his brother still has a show. Um, he his, does, his but he, he was staying for a while. Yeah, his brother has a show. I seen it because his brother was talking about the Diddy thing. Shout yeah. out to Chromo. My mother loves white men. So He we, did get fired though from seeing it. You life. feel me? Yeah, I know. Yeah, so he lost a lot from it. They got rid of Chromo mm-hmm. fast after his thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to put another criminal... But a black man, and off, correct? A black man, yeah. Because Eric Adams, he been dirty. I also exactly. before the indictment, I saw that the police was shaking down nightclubs, and this is not new because um, spin. I forgot his name, DJ Spin King, mm-hmm. his brother. Mm-hmm. Him and his brother own Love and Lust. Okay. And when they shut down, I think his brother name was Star. He came to because they was cool. Fifty, fifty mm-hmm. like family. He said because fifty be at Daisy if it did type of. Mm-hmm. So they had Love and Lust, and. They would get unnecessary fines from the police from people that may have been drunk down the block and not necessarily coming from their club. Interesting. So they was like being shooken down right. or whatever the case may be. They had to pay I a lot always, of fines yep. to mm-hmm. the point they said F the club and went about their business. Right. I think, because Eric Adams came around COVID. Mm-hmm. And remember Stein Miami? Steinway turned Miami. Oh. I think the police had something to do it because that was during COVID and those things was breaking every regulation it was because uh-huh. there was like more people. They, yeah, were selling, yeah. they just had people outside. Uh-huh. During the summer, they was making money and everything was upselling. And I think they was upselling because they had to make sure they yeah, paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Uh-huh. So I, I feel like this has been a, a thing he been hmm. doing, shaking out because during the winter, they shut niggas down. Niggas are struggling to make ends meet. Summer come, everybody popping you back outside. They did that for two years straight. They hmm. shut down the winter, lit up the summer. They right. did that two years straight for us. And I'm watching that shit. I'm like, that's weird. Mm-hmm. Then these niggas is having secret sex parties. During the mandate, when they trying to get us to stick free Kyrie Irving. You heard? He not locked up, but y'all know what I mean. So they want us yeah. to get jabbed to go not to work. To out. And yes. these niggas is having orgies. Yes. With no mask. No mask, Yes. <laughs> And y'all niggas, this is and this is how you know like politicians and like certain people of statutes are corny. The fact that they open up to these random women and get on mm-hmm. get caught on videotape. Mm-hmm. You go on a date and shorty taping you and you're just spilling it. Mm-hmm. Son some was just like, yeah, that was my rule. That got Kyrie not to play basketball and this down the third. They all in cahoots. I think he probably worked with mm-hmm. Eric I don't know. Some he a Ock. I don't know. Indian mm-hmm. or Ock, one of the two. Or whatever the case may be. But I think I think Eric Adams did that shit, but I don't think he's going to jail. I don't think he's going to jail. Mm. I don't think he's going to jail. I don't think he's going to jail. Interesting. What you did? He probably not. He probably not. I just think it's so baffling, though, to know that we put somebody in office that everybody knew was crooked. Like, everybody knew, like, the, you know what I mean? The the stars and the lines, the eyes wasn't dotted. But yet we went through with it because 
he was backed by powerful people mm-hmm. or people that knew that he was a pawn that they needed in mm-hmm. office to get away with their shit. Now, there's... Oh, and my whole thing is that I never understand. I'm like, there's always going to be somebody or something that comes out that starts the demise of things. Yes. Like, I was also watching the Vince McMahon documentary. Y'all got uh, watch I, I, I'm thinking about watching it. I, I'm going to watch it because I see that they started talking about... At first, I thought they wasn't going to talk about all the nasty things he did, but I see Woo! that... Okay, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. Okay. It's, it's kind mm. of insane how... And sometimes it's like you never know, right? Mm-hmm. You never know who. It mm-hmm. could be like a Jane or just anybody blind that could really have some shit on you that put you in. Mm-hmm. And and that's the problem. I think like when people have this mentality, I mean, we could throw Diddy on there too, but I'm sure he probably knew. Vince McMahon's another one. When you feel like one. you're untouchable. Like, you have this idea that you're untouchable until somebody's like, you know what? Fuck that. I'm done with you. And incredible. Now now shit is now shit is going left. He had now to step they, away. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was. It's actually kind of wild. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, the way these people are going down is like in all the ways you would not have expected. It, it, That's always what gets me. Shout out Cat Williams. Oh, you know what I mean? It's never your right hand man. It's never. It's always Williams. the people that y'all try to play or undermine that come back and it's like, now nah, I got something for you. He told, always. He never told us. Him. He told us. Cat Williams got up there and told us straightforward. He said this year. They, not yeah. even that. He said that people are paid to tell yeah. us that they didn't sell a soul. And yeah. now everybody, like you said, this year, all them chickens is coming home to roost, Hello. yo. Like, Vince McMahon got swept under the rug. For Swiss, yeah. Vince McMahon's you know story a... was, cra- he was passing a young lady around, spoiling her. Do you know her. how many settlements he had? A lot. I don't, I don't, yo, I, he spent, I, yo, the amount of money he spent on settlements is actually insane. Bro. It's actually insane. To the yeah. point he like Vince, so we gotta understand how yeah. powerful Vince McMahon been uh, since we was kids. Yeah, for sure. Children, mm-hmm. not yes. like mm-hmm. toddlers. Vince McMahon mm-hmm. been running shit when it's WWF. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and his shit came and went. That's why I'm saying the Diddy shit is a show. Vince McMahon yeah. got some serious charges. Yeah, because his is sex trafficking is yep. also and because he was passing a girl around, Literally. flying her out, had yeah. her ho- boning the homies. Yep. and him still boning her, having niggas nut her, wilding her up, paying her paying off, off, buying yeah. her Birkin bags. Paying for her apartment yeah. and all of this, yeah. wilding shorty up, and they just made him walk away. And you don't Correct. win nothing. Yeah. The same thing with Dana White, and Dana White might 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 end up buying the WWE, mm-hmm. or might be part of the WWE. He got to slap his wife and walk away. Yes. And this is why I say certain things is propaganda. Be careful with the information they feed us, because that's mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. That's why I said the Diddy Tom and Diddy getting locked up in New York, because I, I guarantee I, I I didn't I didn't read nothing, but I know Diddy didn't only commit these crimes that he's alleged in New York. For sure. Absolutely. So they could have locked them up in Florida. Oh, over, yeah. they, you understand LA, what I'm saying? But serious. they chose New York yeah. at a certain time. Yeah. Two, three days later, the indictment came down on Eric Adams. Right. I, coincidence? I think not. Yo. Yeah. I mm-hmm. think not. That's why they gave us the baby oil, which might not be baby oil. Yeah. Because <laughs> Costco said they don't sell baby oil at all. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> the lawyer said they got it from Costco. Mm-hmm. Said Costco said we don't sell baby oil at all. Mm-hmm. So you're that, saying it's probably like drugs. Yeah, they said it might be mm-hmm. drugs. They said it. So that might, him, the, 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 the lawyer said that drugs, might hurt him. That's a lot of drugs. It's a lot of parties. That's it's probably a some lot new of drugs. That's some what like, I'm saying. Some that's a shit. lot of shit. Yeah, that's pretty. a lot of shit to have. No, they got just listen. It's probably, My it, things, what the hell happened? Where's your people that didn't burn any of this stuff off? They probably were surveillance in his, his spot stuff. The Diddy what stuff, think? I think, yeah. is the timing. That's what I'm saying. I think, like, because he was still outside living. You telling me you ain't have nobody clean your house? They, but they, they already searched the script before that. Yeah. I. It's free. Oh, the search was not for him. The search was to clean out clean everybody else's house. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because now they're saying that is a videotape coming from a victim. So where was this person this whole time? Yeah. Now mm-hmm. the victim's giving you a videotape? That's fishy to me. Mm-hmm. That's fishy. I think they got... Like I said, I came in here from Jump. I think they might have a rap or two getting some sodomized. They might have mm. a rap or two on camera. For and sure. I think behind the scenes, they hollering at somebody. Because, like you said, you don't see Free Diddy. You don't hear too many people defending him. A lot of people just say, when I'm around him, I never seen these type of things. That's yeah, all you're saying. Everybody says, just yeah. like a lot of shit happened behind the scenes, they probably saw these videotapes and they reaching out to certain fellas. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. The most people say about Diddy is that he's mean, which I feel like everybody knows. Once you, you get to that, I think. Shows, I actually met somebody. You knew he was mean. I met somebody on Friday that was um he was a drummer mm-hmm. for uh like people in the industry and stuff. He said he, he worked close with Diddy too. But he was saying like if you met him, like he's a cool person. Mm. But like I guess 
But he said like in the industry, like everybody is on some sucker shit like that. Everybody's mm-hmm. like on that same type of vibe. Mm-hmm. They scared. Um, yeah. A lot of these niggas be corny MFs as yeah. kids. Yeah. They get a little money and then <clears throat> that's why I came in here and saying that. We last week when I was saying about the did I know we supposed to be like Barry Adams, but you guilty, nigga. We don't got much to say about it. We don't. You guilty. Yeah. Lock him up. Throw away the key. Fuck it, nigga. Like New York is fucked up. The school system is fucked up, and yeah. you over here stealing money. You alleged to put all these cops in the fucking train station, and right. kids are still getting harmed. Adults are still getting harmed after y'all made this. But sure. that's how they was trying to hide the money because they kept on telling us they put in this much money. Then y'all had a cop shoot a young man a in young the train man. station. Yep. What the Open f- fire in the train station <clears throat> is barbaric. Hit the cop. Hit him up. Hit the other. Mm-hmm. Just lock this nigga up. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. Impeach him. Point. Yeah. Fuck, send him with DT, even though I'm, DT it's might win. It's kind of crazy, though. But. Yeah. One of my exes, though, that could sing, mm-hmm. he, uh, he mentioned like he met like a major exec um, and, and like was saying or whatever. And they was like, oh, yeah, you have to. Like, Lily told him, oh, you're going to have to, you know, do yes. some things that he want to do. And he was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not doing that. But he was like, yo, I never really thought that was a thing until I was in it. That's what everybody thinks until they get there. And I was a demise of, yeah, he was like, yeah, I'm never going to be able to, you know what I mean, really sing or pursue music because yeah, the smart, industry says, is gross. My yeah. dude Smart says it all the time. Mm-hmm. It's got, now it's going, now all of these people that they call crazy, mm-hmm. Kanye ain't looking so crazy. Kyrie Irving ain't looking so crazy. Cat Williams never really looked crazy. Cat Williams nah, the only, Cat Williams really the only one that never now. called him crazy because he... One day we gonna talk about the Kevin Hart, but yeah, like Kevin Hart career hasn't been the same since neither. <laughs> and that year, this year, it's that fight night. He 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 put it in. Good I fight watch night. it. I watch. He me money. Me but... money started, it and I was like, these niggas, like, why we can't go back to two thousand? Why we gotta go so far? Like two thousand oh, is twenty God. years. Old. Why we gotta you go to? Why got, we still gotta go to the seventies? Always got something we... to say about a show. Just watch it. Oh my God! All right, yo, Eric Adams, you guilty? Did I don't know what's gonna happen to Liquid Baby Fuck. Quick, since we talk about shows.